Hey guys, so a uh, real cool uh, feature of Spine is that you can make 3D ob or rather 2D objects appear 3D. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can make the sword appear 3D um, thanks to meshes. So I'm going to play an animation for you and I'll show you how I achieved the effect on the sword, uh, how I made it look 3D later on. So here's the animation guys so basically he's drawing his sword and uh, uh, putting his shield in front of him covering his face with his shield or rather trying to defend himself uh, you can see that the sword uh, kinda looks 3D in this uh, for uh, it has wait maybe if I should maybe I'll uh, I should slow down the movement playback speed so if you play it at 50 percent you can see there's a slight angle change in both the sword and the shield and again I'll show you what I mean by playing this animation here there's a huge angle change with the shield and the sword in this video here and though it's not too convincing right now uh, the more time you spend on this uh, the better your effects will be so I'm going to show you how I what I did uh, to make the sword look 3D so now we can uh, move on to our our original project that I was uh, showing that I was working on with you guys so open project discard changes here e drive spine underscore test and viking now the first step that we want to do is we want to replace the sword acid with uh, one that looks slightly more 3d R right now this acid looks really really flat and i'll show you what i mean if we open photoshop now this asset here looks 3D because it has this uh, dimension added to it and this is the old asset that we were doing it looked really really flat so we just want to replace uh, the new asset with the old one this is how you do this you just save it over your old asset looks about right you click save and you go to your projects uh, window or uh, projects folder e spine underscore test images and you replace your old asset with your new asset replace and now when you open spine nothing happens and this is why you want to click on images over here now what you want to do is you want to refresh and still nothing's happening well what you want to do next if nothing still doesn't happen click browse and click select folder hmm S let's just try to open this file again new project file viking maybe I maybe I didn't save in the proper location so again save for web save maybe I wasn't in the right folder let's just or wait instead of saving for web let's just save as PNG am I in the right folder spine underscore no I am not in the right folder E spine underscore test images sword save yep okay oh there you go now our changes have been registered now what we want to do is uh, we want to add a mesh to this uh, sword so just uh, click on the sword here uh, no we don't want to select the glow we want to select the actual sword we uh, make sure our attachments 
are visible as well so just click here to make them visible and just uh, click this attachment here uh, click on mesh and now you click on edit mesh now we want to add a mesh to this sword click create and this is how you go about it this shouldn't take too long so just bear with me guys If done right, the uh, this effect can really add another dimension, like literally add another dimension to your uh, 2D animations. So yeah, that's that's our mesh there, and we click on delete, and we just remove these edges over here, like so. You click on create, and you want to make sure that uh, these edges here that are yellow should be yellow. And what I mean is, uh, right now this this edge here is green, and you can uh, turn it yellow by just clicking this vertex uh, vertex here, and just uh, dragging it over here to this point. And now your edge is yellow, and we want to do the same with this one here. That's our mesh, and now we can uh, click on Edit Mesh to exit out of it. And now we can. I'll show you how to uh, give this a 3D look. So you just save your file. You go on animate. By you just click here to toggle between setup and animate mode. So this is the first time in these tut tutorials that we are going in the animate mode. You select your. Uh, what you want to do is you make you want to make sure your bones are visible and your bone selection is visible as well. So now you can select these bones and they're visible as well. Now we want to hide everything else we just want for now for this demonstration we just want this sword to be visible. So you just uh, go here in the tree and uh, make sure your slots are selected like so and uh, for now you can just hide everything. Everything except the sword that is because we would be demonstrating the 3D effect on the sword so just click on the sword and uh, make sure you're now now make sure your uh, your attachments are visible like so now this is the sword slot and this is the sword attachment um, just uh, ex I would want to ex uh, work on my dope sheet here and we create a keyframe here and you can see our keyframe appears over here we go to the 30th frame and then we create another keyframe here hold it hmm Oh, uh, our keyframes weren't appearing be because our sword bone had been hidden. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your sword bone is visible. And now, uh, 
now what you want to do is you want to go to the first frame you want to make uh, you want to click the attachment uh, for the sword bone this is the sword bone this is the sword slot and this is the sword attachment you want to click this attachment over here you want to click this key icon to uh, add a keyframe and our keyframe appears as over here you want to uh, click over here on the 30th frame and our uh, indicator shows us that we are now on the 30th frame and now again you want to go to your attachment sword attachment you want to add a keyframe here like so and there you go here it appears now what you want to do is now you want to go to the middle frame and this is where we add the the slight turn to the to the sword what we do is we select our sword attachment we click on scale over here and now we we really squeeze it to make it look as if it's rotating however if it rotates to such a uh, to this degree this this part here these these things here the side part of the sword will uh, appear will have more volume and this is how we do that we just uh, s we just uh, select these vertices like so we go on translate and we just uh, drag them like so so now they have a bit of volume to them S this gives us the appearance that our sword is 3d all of a sudden and there you go turning your 2d animation into a 3d animation it takes a little bit of time it takes a little bit of practice but with spine it's really really easy and this is one of the cool features of spine um, if you don't have the essential version uh, that is Ho I really hope that uh, this tutorial was helpful to you guys let me know in your uh, let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below and uh, if you have any questions please uh, do let me know thanks for watching